Hello again, here we are. We're gonna open with a quick PSA, public service announcement, and then we're gonna talk about some stuff. Well, you'll see. Okay, so uh, we did not run today. Here's the deal, and here's the uh, PSA. Um, check your skin as often as you can. If you have any suspicious moles, have them looked at. And if you're a runner, which I, I'm sure most of you are, uh, you're out in the sun a lot, so wear sunblock. Uh, I had two moles removed this week, uh, one here, one on my uh, belly. Uh, they're rather large. I've got 29 stitches total. 29 stitches. So the doctor said no exercise for two weeks. Uh, they're still a little... Uh, well, it was just on Tuesday, so yeah. if you do the math on uh, that many stitches, we're talking pretty decent yeah. incisions. So no running this week. So instead, we thought we would share with you some of the swag. Memory lane time. <laughs> Memory lane. You know, you've seen this behind us for yeah. most of our videos, uh, our medals. We'll get to those in a bit. But we thought we'd share with you and hope you share back the shirts that we have uh, earned. That running. we have left. We, yeah. We've yeah, we'll kept some of them, yeah. but uh, donated some of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, cut up some of them for my Sally dress. That's for right. The marathon. That's right. You did. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go. So here's a brief history of Laura and David running. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. It all started back in, what is that? 13? 2014? 14, I think. It says on the back. So. 14. 14. <laughs> we did our first, oh no, you're losing them. We did our first, um. Micro marathon was what it was called. Micro marathon. Here we go. <laughs> That's right. That says 0.5k. <laughs> Show in the back, and we'll explain what this race was. So that is a stick figure uh, holding two glasses of beer. Um. So this race, it was actually one of the more challenging runs we've ever done. It was. Uh, they gave you two beers. <laughs> And you ran 0.5K, which if you're not really expecting a run, is a lot further than you think it's going to be. Yep. We were running for a while, yep. holding two beers. And the point is, you know, there's the fill line and then there's this like line halfway down. Finish. The finish line, the finish line, right? Yep. So the idea was to cross the finish line with your beer still above that second line. Yeah. You did a heck of a job. Well, and let me tell you. Regard. And then you got to drink them both. And then they gave you more drink tokens. <laughs> it was a great day. Yeah, let me, <laughs> let me tell you though. So you think, oh, well, you know, you're you're, you're, holding a, you're holding a couple of glasses, big deal. Ah, they were silicone. So they... So when you squeeze them, mm -hmm. the beer... Uh, so there were a lot of people who was, didn't finish with the proper amount of beer. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was fun. But that was, was awesome. That was so, my... Uh, we're just like joking. Yeah, you, my I don't think he was even... You weren't even like really running with yeah. me. That was just like a thing that we did. Yeah. Um, so then he started like actually running with me. So mm -hmm. um, we started training and an orthopedic doctor told you never to run again. She was like, is it really important that you do this? And you're like, yeah, I really want to run this 5K. She was like, okay, run that 5K and never run again. Yeah. That was eight years ago? Eight years ago? Eight years ago. Eight years ago. Yeah. So, yeah, we're cool. Yeah, joke's uh, on you, doctor. Find a running supportive doctor <laughs> yeah. if you yeah. <laughs> run into, run into oh. issues like that. Anywho, that's neither yeah. here nor there. So we started training for David's first uh, 5K. So he's never been a runner. Well, he ran track. Yeah, yeah. So he's been a sprinter, yeah. but not a like longer distance runner. So yep. we started training. Mm -hmm. We did this thing. We found this race. It was in the hill country. It was beautiful. Um, <laughs> butterfly run. So this is one of those, uh, the the first of many, where David looked at that and was like, yeah, I'm not wearing that shirt. I'm not wearing that shirt. But it was really cool. And shirt. it's called a monarch run because at the end of the run, they actually released monarch butterflies. Oh, that was cool. So that, that was a neat run. Yeah, that was nice. It was my first. Your first, you placed in your age group. I did. Got second place. There were only three. There were at least three. At, oh, that's true. But, yeah. There were probably only three. It was a pretty small <laughs> race. But yeah, it was way great. to start. Yeah, huh? it was great. That was great. <laughs> so then 
we started training for our first 10k or sorry david's first 10k my first 10k um and we were going to go to south carolina and run the cooper river bridge run with our um some friends of ours who lived in south carolina at right. the time right um and we were two weeks away from that and we were in a horrible car accident so that run didn't happen for us it did not yeah that was awful <laughs> it was awful that was awful and there was part of us that didn't know if we'd ever run again yeah it was really awful it was really bad but we made it we made it and we did start running and almost exactly a year later, it was actually a year to the day after my surgery to have my arm put back together oh, yeah. from that, that wreck, <laughs> um, we ran David's first 10K. First 10K. It was a Girl Scout oh. uh, fundraiser, which I love the Girl Scouts. Totally supportive of that oh, organization. Yeah. We bought a lot of cookies that day. <laughs> we did, we also got cookies for free. It was the Thin Mint Sprint. <laughs> now we don't have the shirt from this one no. because it was, not the most attractive. We do still have a bib though, because, uh, so another kind of situation where David's like, yeah, I'm, I'm not wearing that shirt. Uh, <laughs> it's a, it's supposed to be a thin mint, a thin mint sprinting. Running. <laughs> to me, it looks like a turd in boots. <laughs> the shirt was also like a very weird color green. Like it was just a, you know, whatever. So David's first 10 K. Yay. Yay. We did. Yes. We did well too. We did. That was for a long time, our best time on a 10K mm -hmm. was the first one. Um, so then after that, I kind of tricked him into signing up for a half marathon. No, you didn't trick me. I kind of tricked you. I was a little like, uh, you didn't trick me. I was like, listen, Disney's doing this thing. It's Star Wars. Yeah. And they still have spaces open. We should probably sign up for it because it may sell oh, out. Yeah. I've heard the Disney race sell out. I can't believe it's still <laughs> yeah. available. I didn't yeah. know then that yeah. the Star Wars race like never sold out. Yeah. And we had wow. plenty of time, but it was like yeah. it, was, it was like January. And right? it, I think it was, was like right after Christmas. It I was, was like, our, gotta do this. It was our first ever Disney race. Mm -hmm. Ever. Yeah. Star Wars. Star Wars. Oh my gosh. And that was uh the dark side run that year, I believe, right? Yeah, dark side. So uh Phasma was the kind of uh the, the what's the word i'm looking for head character the theme yeah um and that was such a fun race oh man that was so it cool. was amazing that was cool and then for it was my first half marathon mm -hmm. for a first half marathon star wars disney mm -hmm. it was like i mean the bar was set it it, it, it was a blast no pun intended it was pew, it was pew, 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 pew. it was really <laughs> awesome so yeah that one was a load of fun yeah that, that was great. um and on that one too we actually <clears throat> did a um we did the kessel run which was a virtual mm -hmm. half marathon that we did while we were training mm -hmm. so when we got to race weekend we got an additional medal for doing oh the, yeah that was cool oh my gosh that. we're gonna show you the medals yeah. later it, it was i think our first time getting medals that uh weighed more than our luggage so we'll, we'll show you those in a bit but that that was fantastic so yeah. we had the bug that that was it we were mm -hmm. we were uh we were in for disney runs from then on yeah yeah so then the next year we decided to do the star wars race again but for mm -hmm. some reason we decided to do the challenge so the 10k one day and the half marathon the next day yeah we did it it was fine yeah we i don't know it was pretty tiring i know lots of um people including people watching um our videos are like dopey folks and are totally yeah. into running and that's amazing back to that back, to back. it's amazing because it bombed us out yeah it did but um but uh so that next year we got 10k shirt um, we got half marathon shirt and these are still, you'll see us running these a lot. These are some of our favorite running yeah. shirts still. And then we got a shirt for doing the challenge. And was it was, cool. it was cool. Awesome. It was cool. Rival run is what they called it. Yeah. It, it, was, it was really neat. Yeah. And I think on that one, didn't we get to choose? Yeah. You had to choose like light side or dark side. And so we did one of these just to see if there was any difference. And it wasn't, it was just like the bib was different. Oh, right. Um, but, uh, yeah, that was loads of fun. That was the last, is that right? That was the last in-person Star Wars run. Yep. So that was 2019. 
of 2020, we didn't sign up for that race. Um, I had a coworker who signed up for it. It was going to be his first run Disney thing. Um, and then of course, 2020 went virtual. And then when they reintroduced, when run Disney reintroduced the races, they were like, Hey, no more Star Wars. Springtime surprise. Nah. So I know we're not alone in missing the Star Wars runs, yeah. but they, I know they also didn't sell out. So I think that's probably why they uh, retired. They, the, they've got the to bring theme. it back though, right? Because they were the best. Because now, now you can run through Batu. Yeah. Run through Star Wars, so. Hopefully that. they'll bring it back. Yeah. All right. So that was second half marathon. We didn't run any half marathons in between those, did we? I don't think we did. We were So after that... <laughs> These idiots decided to run a marathon. Let's do it, we said. <laughs> Actually, we it was can do it. Old David saying, Hey, you want to run a marathon? And I'm like, Nope, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> I most certainly do not want to run a marathon. Yeah. I always knew that. I was like, Nope, 13 is enough. I don't need to run 26. So then we ran a marathon. Uh, that was 2020, mm -hmm. uh, the Run Disney Marathon Weekend, January 2020, right before the world shut down. Uh, we ran this race and, and we got a, I like the design of the shirt that it's, um, it's a pretty rough shirt and it kind of locks in the heat, but long sleeve, long sleeve. It's yeah, it's good and for winter. Parts on one arm and, you know, really, way. really cool. Yeah. yeah. That was great. So that was our, our first marathon. Mm -hmm. Uh, leading up to that, we actually ran a couple of half marathons during our training. One of them was. Um, the Buffalo Stampede. Buffalo Stampede, and that was misery. It was. It was very hot. Uh, and that's very the one sunny. where we talked about it was uphill both ways. It was. I don't know how, but it was. <laughs> yeah, um, it was so hot, and we were hoping to get like a good proof of time yeah, for the. Were, yeah. No, uh, it was a, It was an awful yeah, race. Yeah. Um, I like the shirt from that one. It is dirty. I tried to hamster dive. Yeah. Dumpster dive. Yeah. What's, it, the, what's the actual phrase? Hamper dive. Hamper. Hamster dive is what we call it because yeah. it just comes out of my mouth that way. Dumpster. Uh, but it was it was pretty wrinkled, so yeah. I can't show that one. But it's um, just a nice cotton shirt. It's nice. it's nice. Yeah. Um, and then we also ran the um, Spicewood uh, Winery half marathon. This one was also misery. This one was horrible. It wasn't that hot. No. It did get warmer than. I thought we, we were expecting it too, but um, that one was uphill. <laughs> yeah, so no joke. Oh my god! The hills were so they steep. Were so it's the steep. kind of hill that when you're going down, you can't downhill, run down because you you're gonna like lose it. Yeah, you can't stop, right? Uh, if you if you pick up speed, you cannot stop. So you're like duck walking down. They were just way too steep. It was misery, and mm -hmm. I gotta tell you, we're not gonna run that one again. No, it was really really difficult. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it wasn't oh, a lot of fun. Man. No, um, no amount of wine afterward made it worthwhile. It was. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, uh, so. They did have a good meal afterwards for us. Anyway, it's, it's I like the group that does these runs, but mm -hmm. that particular run yeah, I do not enjoy. Yeah, it was. Um, so those two half marathons were in preparation for the 2020 marathon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're we're we made it all the way through COVID. We did some virtual runs. Yeah. Um, we did a wine and dine virtually. Um, awesome medals. Yeah, awesome medals, and that was like I, that one we signed up. We signed up for the challenge in person because. We thought we, it wouldn't last this long. Yeah, um, and we've never done wine and dine, so we were. It was going to we be were, our first wine. Yeah, and we were yeah. really excited about it, and it was villain themed too. We're mm -hmm. like, oh man, this is so cool. Yeah, so we did yeah. it virtually. We yeah. had a little like Disney staycation at home, mm -hmm. and we made all of our favorite foods from the parks, and yeah. we ran and the and, and drinks. We ran the half yeah. marathon and stuff around the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, ten k around the neighborhood. Um, so that was 2020. 2021. So by 2021, we were training for the 2022 marathon at Run Disney. In the hopes that it would happen. Uh, that's right. That's right. We, yeah. we weren't totally sure if it was going to happen or not. Um, we did a run across Texas. Yeah, that, that was, was cool. and yeah, that was interesting. Um, so it was the equivalent of running from El Paso to whatever's in this corner. Orange. Orange. So it was like 800 and some odd miles. And it was cumulative over the course of, I think you had like six months. Mm -hmm. I think we did it in about four. So we like kind of logged our miles and um, got a nice big medal and a cool shirt for that one. Yeah, um, that was really which cool. Which I forgot to grab. I could have grabbed that shirt. Um, okay. We have a medal. We have a medal. We'll mm -hmm. show that. So 2021, 
So then um, training for the 2022 marathon, we ran the Georgetown Half Marathon, which was our little town's first half marathon. It's got red poppies on it. That's um, kind of a thing here. Um, we have a red poppy festival every spring. Mm -hmm. um, and then we ran 2022. Oh man. Run Disney Marathon. So it's their, of course, 50th anniversary theme. So it's got the like yeah. kind of opalescent colors. And it's got the little 50 on the arm. Really cool shirt. Mm -hmm. Nice. It, it feels better than uh, the 2020 marathon yeah, shirt. Yeah, it's, it's more breathable. Um, then we ran the, um, what was this one called? Wanderlust. Wanderlust. I could never remember the name of it. Half Wanderlust marathon. Half Marathon just a couple months ago. And this shirt is awesome. It's like super soft mm -hmm. and, um, I don't know. I really, really like this shirt. Yeah. And now we're up to speed. We are. Here we are. Speed. So here we are. Uh, we, we did run, uh, you know, uh, last week we ran mm -hmm. our, um, uh, Slackers Brewing 5K. No t-shirts handed out for that one. Mm -hmm. uh, no medals handed out for that one. We did get a, a pint glass each. Mm -hmm. It's a glass. Yeah. It's nice. Uh, and now we're, uh, again, uh, recovering. But we'll get back to it and see what we can sign up for. But t-shirts are one thing. Let's take a look at the medals. We've had some questions about what do the medals look? What do the Disney medals look like? They're they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. They're huge. But we also have some other non-Disney medals that we wanted to share with you. So here we go. Uh, so these are our two um, IKEA kitchen rack metal racks. See, people spend tons of money on these things. All <laughs> you need to do is go to IKEA and buy a towel rack with these little hook things, and it's brilliant. It costs like fifteen dollars. So um, first up is the. Um, the half marathon, David's first half marathon. So this is 2018, Phasma, it's pretty hefty. Um, this was for the challenge. So sorry, this was for the Kessel Run doing the virtual race. And then they gave us the challenge medal, which has a little, uh, you know, a little slidey thing here. Pretty fancy. Their medals are always like so huge. I don't know when they got to this point. They've been like this the whole time we've been doing Disney races. Uh, so that was first half marathon. Second half marathon is this guy. Oh, let me see. So that's the challenge. Okay, so here was the 10K. Nice, right? Good classic. Uh, the half marathon. So again, light side, dark side. So we have both kind of represented here. And then the challenge for doing both is like this uh, got a little spinning wheel. So, two sides. Ooh, it gets kind of deep. Oh. All right. Um, so that's pretty much this one. We also have some like virtual um, uh, virtual 5Ks, the summer series that Run Disney puts on. They did Incredibles a few years ago. I don't remember what year that was. Maybe 2018. Um, and then the, the uh, ride themed one was 2020. Okay. That's metal rack number one. And all of this looks like super impressive. They're all doubled up. So both mine and Davy's uh, medals are all hanging here and it looks like, oh, we're these crazy runners, but really it's just like half as many. All right. So I'm just gonna kind of work my way across here too. Um, where's the other one? All oh, right. So this was the most recent half marathon that we did, the Wonderlust. Uh, we also ran it virtually in 2020. This is the medal for that one. Uh, we had planned to run it in person, but it of course got canceled. Uh, this is the Georgetown half. It's got this little like stained glass um, poppy here. And I think this one is like super pretty. I think this is one of the prettiest medals I've ever, ever gotten. Um, this is that Trans Texas one. So uh, we got a really large <laughs> ceramic Texas medal for logging 800 some odd miles. All right. Um, this tiny little guy is the, um, the Buffalo Stampede. Uh, really difficult race. This was also a really difficult race. This was the one with the hills. Tough stuff. Okay. And then our two marathon medals. So this was the one from 2020. We got Mickey on one side and Minnie on the other. Nice little spinner. I like this medal. I, th I thought the colors were super cute and stuff that year. Um, and then this is our medal from this year. This, God, this one's even heavier than the last one. So again, Mickey and Minnie 
with their uh, 50th anniversary colors. Was that it? I think that's it. We also got. Oh yeah, we got ears. Oh, I didn't dust up there. <laughs> <laughs> so we got we got ears from uh, 2020, and we got finisher ears from 2022. So hopefully we'll get some more in 2023. And that's uh, the running history of Davy and Laura. <laughs> so there you have it. Oh. Our shirts. Comprehensive, not complete. Uh, and our medals and our ears. We are uh, really, really excited about uh, 2023. And we're excited about the uh, training. You know, we'll probably uh, hit some uh, more races mm. during training. Yep. Uh, yep. The, we're going to have to uh, work out our training schedule because it is hot. It yeah, really it's almost hot. it's almost the time of year where when we do go, I'm sure by the time we're able to go running again, it's going to be set an alarm and get out super early. Yeah, it's been nice not setting an alarm on Saturdays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. hope you enjoyed our uh, our swag presentation. Share yours with us uh, because we know some of you ran uh, with us at some of the uh, Disney races. Uh, but uh, plenty of others. We even heard uh, about some uh, that you're going to participate in uh, very soon. So let us know. Uh, show us what you got. Thanks for joining. Remember, like, and if you haven't, please subscribe. We're uploading, uh, trying to, once a week. Whether we run or not. <laughs> and get this, in a week and a half, uh, my nurse gets to remove my stitches. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Remember, it's always an adventure with you.